This video shows how the timers in the relay should work if you have everything wired up correctly and nothing's defective. Um, this is a 12 volt power supply, so it's the same thing as using a, a battery or if you're using dedicated power. Um, and then uh, this is the, you know, the relay, the two timers. I have two older timers, so on my timers, uh, positive goes to the, uh, the, the lead on the far left and ground goes to the lead, you know, the next one in. And uh, some people have been saying the newer timers uh, of this style that they've been buying off Amazon have uh, these two reversed. So ground is over here and positive is here. You just have to refer to the wiring diagram that hopefully uh, comes with your timers. Um, because uh, anyway, that's what people have been uh, saying, the timer, their timers function like this. Mine, again, work with positive over here and ground here. So that's why it's wired up that way. Okay. So, uh, in place of the actuator, I've got a multimeter. It's plugged into the, you know, the two terminals where the actuator would, would plug into. Um, and right now, everything's off. It's showing zero uh, volts on the, uh, on the multimeter. So, I'm going to trigger the open timer. And the red light comes on over the, uh, the first relay. And you notice it's showing uh, 12 volts. So, that would be opening the coupe door. I'm going to turn off the timer and it goes back to zero. Red light on the relay goes off. I'm going to trigger the, uh, the close timer and the red light over that relay goes on and now it's showing negative 12 volts. So that would be running the actuator in the opposite direction, closing the coupe door. And I'm going to turn that off. So that's how normal operation works if you have everything wired up correctly. Uh, one thing that might be confusing to people um, is I daisy chained like so this is positive power just straight from the power supply. And I daisy chain that to all the points where it needs to go. Uh, you don't have to do it that way. You could take six splices off of the positive power and have six individual wires going to each one of the points where the positive power needs to go. Um, I believe it's six. It's like one, uh, two, three, four, five. No, it's six. It's seven. Six, seven. Um, and then same thing with ground. Instead of daisy chaining ground, the you know just straight ground needs to be here, here, or again if you have the newer timers, uh, that might be switched those two. Uh, ground needs to go here, down here, and down there. Um, so you could run again individual wires to all those points rather than uh, daisy chaining like them like I have. Uh, it's just personal preference. All right. Good luck.